Asha. אמא בא לשתי, קחי אותי, אבל ברגע. אני תכף צריכה לצאת מהבית. It's 65 days that they've been here, adapting to life's new reality since their release from captivity in Gaza. 15-year-old Daphna and 8-year-old Ella getting used to a new house in the city, to a reality without Daddy Noam, without his partner Dikla and their stepbrother Tomer, who were all murdered on that dark Sabbath. I brought my backpack from Nachalos. There's blood on it, my father's blood here, and on my pencil case. It is, it was Tomer's backpack. Now it's with me. It's pretty, right? Through no choice of their own, they became all our girls, two sisters kidnapped from their beds to Gaza alone, without mom, without dad, forced to leave behind all that ever made them feel safe. Now they have to try to relearn how to live. What's the hardest part of going back to a routine? That I don't have my father, who used to wake me up for school, so him not being here for that. Tomer and I used to walk to school together every day. Hence the backpack. It's like keeping him with me. I can't talk about it. I'll cry. It's, it's hard. Is it okay if we talk about that Sabbath? Yes. It started in the morning with the sirens, a lot of red alerts, and then a half an hour later, I think maybe an hour, they entered the kibbutz. Then my father came into my room with Dikla and Tomer and put the three of us, myself, Tomer, and Ela, under the bed and told us to be quiet. They came in the house and started shooting, shot the door and hit my dad in the leg. Then they pulled us from under the bed. They were live streaming it. One of the most memorable videos from the 7th of October is a wicked Facebook Live the terrorists filmed in Daphna and Ella's home. The video shows Father Noam wounded in the leg with a shocked and scared Daphna at his side. Ella is sitting on Dikla's knees, Noam's partner. Her son Tomer is taken outside by the terrorists. Only a few days later will the full video come out, showing them taking Tomer out for him to knock on neighbors' doors to lure them out. Did you understand where they took him? They said they needed Tomer to go open the doors to the houses so that people would come out. They said he'd be okay, that they wouldn't harm him as long as he didn't try anything. Then the Hamas terrorists took us to our car and drove off. And then some other terrorists shot at our car, thinking we were civilians trying to escape. They shot and killed Dikla. She died instantly. They took us to Gaza. So many people tried to reach us and harm us, so the terrorists took us up to an apartment and kept us there until an ambulance came. What were the days like over there? Difficult. All I could think of was how my family was, my friends, what's happening in Israel, if they got to the whole country, if they destroyed Israel, if they had conquered it. weeks before their release, they were moved to the tunnels. There, they met five kidnapped young women who remain in captivity. 
אימא של לירי. This is לירי. נעמה. זה של... This is רומי. זה של אגם. אגם. You were with the four of them together? כן, ויש גם את אמי. Yeah, and אמילי דמארי as well. It was on the third day of releases that their names showed up on the list. Around six o'clock in the evening, wearing long braids, Daphna and Ella could suddenly be seen walking towards the Red Cross's white jeep. Do you remember the moment of your return? Not really. I thought it was... I thought maybe it was a bluff, that I was still in Gaza. Fifty-one days they were alone in hell. Fifty-one days in which a brave girl became a mother in an instant and now needs to find her way back to being a girl again. <laughs>